this is what I've been able to make on a daily basis with these loads that I've been showing you guys. So, um, once I'm done with this load, I'll be getting that pay. And it's similar to the nine others that I completed. So, um, everyone telling you that there's no money out here in the trucking game is just, uh, you got to find it, man. It's just an industry of where you got to find it now. So, got to be on the hustle, man. Okay, so today is very interesting. <laughs> we are at an old army base. And I'm gonna be backing up to that dock right there. But first, let me go ahead and get my handy dandy cutters. Way too. Just got finished being unloaded. And we are on our way out of this old military base. Talking to the receiving guys, they said that this is where the ammunition bunkers used to be. Where they used to hold all the ammunition for uh, the weapons, uh, all the chemicals, and things of that nature. So now this is like in an old abandoned place where I guess companies use the warehouses for, uh, or the old bunkers for warehouses. Is what they told me. So. Who knows? But yeah, that's the deal over here. I think this is the way to leave. I'm not sure. But... You know what? If there's somebody in this office, let me ask.
not saying to make a left up out of here, but there's a low bridge on the left, so we're going to make a right out of this. Today we are picking up a container out of the ports, headed out to Toby Hanna, PA. Um, short little run, it's about an hour and 45 minutes, but it's probably gonna take me like two hours, two and a half hours or so. Open appointment time. Uh, so, we'll get that done, head back to Jersey. See if maybe pull another load or if there's another load for tomorrow that's long, then I'll do that one tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, so that's what the day is looking like today. Got some sleep. After 11 hours of driving yesterday from, where'd I go yesterday? I was in Romulus, New York, so it was up there by like Geneva, Five Finger Lakes and stuff like that. Um, these roads are ridiculous. I'm telling you. Not only is this road ridiculous, it also does wear and tear on not only your tires, but your suspension, your struts, everything. It's like, it knocks things loose that don't need to be loose. It's ridiculous. And I mean, for the past two years coming up and down this road, they haven't even put tar in a hole to fucking fill it and make it stop becoming a bigger crater than what it is. It's just ridiculous, man. I don't get it, man. It's like, it's nothing. 
nothing but trucks that come through here. Like, do you have the decency, like the city, to at least fill up a, a pothole? But y'all can give us tickets. Y'all have y'all have enough money to have cops sitting over here weighing us in, scaling us in, but you can't fill a pothole. It's like, <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you. It just doesn't make sense. So, I don't want to start raving and ranting about how I feel about them not filling up potholes. So, you just take a deep breath and you start avoiding these potholes.
everybody that was asking me on my TikTok where my gloves are, here they go. Pop that one over. Bunch of boxes. Put the seal in the back of the car. Trail on me. Now we got out and looked. I already adjusted myself to be able to park. Now all I have to do is back up and hopefully find a hole the first time. able to pull right in no pull-ups now I'm gonna get out and release the container and drop it and pick up the other one now that we have released the container drop the landing gear I'm gonna lower the suspension air that way to Container doesn't just drop on my tandems. Rise the suspension here. And back under the other container that I'm picking up which is right next to it so we're gonna hook on to that one now that I'm hooked up I will attempt my tug test and I am connected to the kingpin so now I will connect my airlines and my electrical pigtail also raise the landing gear and proceed to do my pre-trip for the trailer to make sure it doesn't have any flats, missing mud flaps or any of that nature because there is a cop, state trooper literally, right outside the gates. <laughs> and he knows that's the right spot to be at because this is the only trail through the Poconos that 
trucks go through. Not only, but it's a heavy traffic, heavy truck traffic area. So he ain't, he know what he doing. And that's why we gotta avoid and make sure uh, these pre-trips are done, man. I know it's annoying. I know it's like time consuming, but I mean, if they get you for a mud flap or they get you for a light or they get you for whatever it is that they want to get you for, I'm telling you, man. You don't call roadside, some of these brokers, some of these places, they'll be like, oh, well, you got to take care of it because you should have did your pre-trip and we would have supplied you with a, a on-duty mechanic. Whatever excuse they do to not pay you, they would do it. I'm telling you, man. So this is the part that you cannot make up. I wake up at 12 o'clock midnight to make a 5 a.m. appointment delivery and I have a train that's blocking me from picking up my container. And it's probably, and it's literally the end. And all I have to do is, it just has to pass over right there and I can enter. This is probably gonna be there for like another hour or so and I'm gonna be late now, so. Yeah, you can't make this stuff up. I'm telling you, man. You cannot make this stuff up. And then they're like, oh, why? Why were you late? Oh, we're gonna have to refuse you. Oh, blah, 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 blah. All of this BS that they make up for them not to give you what you, what you want, which is money. It's always something, man. Like, it's just blinking. Like, why is that? Just blocking the railroads. My God. I'm telling you, man. Dropping off a bunch of wires. Headed into the office to see if they could um, start unloading me. I have two rolls of that stuff, so. We'll see what we get.